Well, you see this environment, this pristine environment, it's the extension of Vermont. And what it can take away is exactly what they've done north of Montreal in Saint-Sauveur, Saint-Adèle. You look at the mountains in Saint-Sauveur and Saint-Adèle, I used to live there when I was a young kid. And now it's becoming, a, you know, a city that even my sister who lives there, it took 45 minutes to get out of Saint-Sauveur during a weekend. So do we want that here? Do we want this kind of environment to have houses all front in the mountain? No, we don't want that because here the strength is nature, culture, sport. This is um, in services to the population. The city hasn't done any studies on uh, the financial aspect of it, on the environmental aspect of it, because, you know, when you open up uh, new roads and building new buildings in the mountain, you have a very important erosion impact, sedimentation of the rivers, especially now with the change of the climate. It's very important to make those studies in order to, to decide what you're going to do. And the municipality decided that, no, they wouldn't make any studies and that, uh, obviously, they just went full speed ahead without listening to uh, the citizens of Sutton. So in the end, our last recourse is uh, we needed uh, a third party to, under to really listen to us, and the third party is the court. And it's a democratic process that you need to go to court in order to, to, to uh, be listened to. Everybody agreed in Sutton here that, that those uh, zoning laws were typical of the quality of life in Sutton. Everybody agreed with that. So now they've changed all this and they changed very important things about, you know, the height of new houses. Um, now there's one, the limits of new houses, the, the, the way that you calculate the slopes. Now it's in the old reg regulation, it's 12%. Now it's 15% on average. So it's all those things that it's going to create major impact here on the, on the environment.